Hey everybody, it's Deb. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone had some great holidays. Before we start, in order to be in compliance with the new COPPA regulations, this channel is meant for people over 18 years of age. It is not meant for children. I've been working on some Magnolia Tilda Valentines. I thought I would come on and share them with you. Uh, these are all easel cards and they're all in the traditional style, meaning they're on the reds and pink tones. This is the first one. And this magnolia is colored with Copic markers. She is holding a little daisy. I thought that was so sweet. So I did put some Wild Orchid Craft daisies on here. These flowers are Wild Orchid Crafts as well. This one, I believe this rose is from I Am Roses. This little pearl embellishment is from the Hobby Lobby Wedding Department. This border is a Martha Stewart punch. And this is just a lace doily, a heart doily. I believe I got that from, Marsh, uh, from Michaels. This is also from Michaels, but this was uh, quite a long time ago. It's a wood embellishment says forever. And when you open it up, it has a little pearl trim and some lace. The pearl trim was actually white uh, pearls and I colored those with my Copics as well to match the card. This area here is for your sentiment and some little trim here is uh, to, as a little embellishment. You'll have to excuse my voice. I am battling a little bit of a cold right now. That's card number one. Card number two. Another Magnolia Tilda. This time I put some little pink pearls around here. This has a gold lace doily and this uh, trim, or the bow here, if you don't like the long tails, you can always cut those off and uh, have a shorter bow. Again, the border is a Martha Stewart punch with the flower arrangement is from uh, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. This, this little berry here, I probably got that from Joann's as a filler. The paper was from my stash, as well as the paper over there. It's just a paper I had from my stash. This one has uh, some pink pearl trim to hold the card up. This uh, label here, I stamped I Love You on it. The die itself is a Spellbinders uh, Fancy Tags 3 die. Now because this one doesn't really have uh, an area for you to write your embellishment on or your sentiment on, <laughs> I did make a little pocket and the little lace uh, doily on the back is, let me do this, on the back is an area for you to write your sentiment. That just goes right in there. Card sits up like that. Card number two. Card number three. This is my favorite. This Tilda, again, colored with the Copic markers. This paper is uh, from Hobby Lobby, as well as this patterned love paper here. The Martha Stewart punch same punch that was used on card number one is used over here. Now I didn't have any roses that matched uh, this card or this paper so what I did is I made my own roses. Uh, I made those with this punch. This is from EK Tools and you just uh, punch out your white petals and then what I did is I colored them with the Copics. The seam binding bow is made with a Zutter bow doll, and there's a little 
pearl heart embellishment here. That is, I believe, from AliExpress. And it stands up with a couple of pearls here. Each corner has some white pearls. And this is your writing area. And that is card number three. I will be back with another video, uh, hopefully today, but I don't know. It's a pretty dreary winter day here. It's getting very dark already. And I um, just want to make sure these are in frame. So the next video will be some uh, Valentines that I made using my Bestie stamps. And those are more in the shabby chic style, whereas these are the tra traditional colors for Valentine's. If you're interested in any of the cards, uh, please send me an email. My email address will be below. And I thank you for watching the video, and uh, I welcome your comments. And please press the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.